Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are. What fits with it fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 150, NASDAQ's up 83, SP's up 18 and a half, gold contract down $20.80, trading at 1794 an ounce. We have silver down 50 cents, $20.34 an ounce, light sweet crude off 274, 89 dollars 33 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading, there we go, trading up uh, 14 ticks, 119. 23, the 30 year is up uh, 31 ticks. Remember, 32 ticks in the bond market is one full point. 141.17, you get the 10 year yielding 2.78. And the last six months, last three months actually, the high has been 3.4, the low 2.5. And King Dollar, look at this man, King Dollar up nine, 898 ticks, 106.53. The euro right now is trading at a price point of 101, and the yen is out here at 136. Where am I? How about, why does this keep happening to me? 133, and the British pound is out there at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's reaching for that May 4th number. Uh, the, the NQs just got it today. Uh, the, N, the, the number in the spies, folks, is 429.66. We've made the 429.10 thus far. Now, the contraction of volume is dramatic here. So, bottom line, my take is this thing's gonna take a rest, but doesn't look like it's gonna do it just yet. That's in your SPY. If we go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, three Qs. Three Qs are actually over that level right now. You're up 256, 257, right? The, the volume you're going into, the, the contraction in the, in the Qs is pretty dramatic. The, the, the Qs, is, yeah, well, bottom line is that if we take a look at it, last Wednesday, you did uh, 51 million shares, Thursday, 45, Friday, 40, and we're not even going to do 40 million today, folks. That is laying up that we're going to get a pullback. And that contraction, if you're a bull, is not good, man. You know, we'll see how it basically pulls back down. But you, what you don't want to happen is that this thing gets too much higher, meaning the price, and that volume characteristic keeps going down. Because all that does is sets up a larger pullback. You know, my take is that, the, you know, the bottom's in, okay? But that being said, uh, you keep going up higher, you'll get a larger pullback that will, that will feel vicious. Well, which totally makes sense, actually, because um, that is how deviant markets actually are. Uh, let's go take a look at the dollar, because this is such a classic, man. This is, like, unbelievable. Now, and the unbelievable part is that the market is not going south when the dollar has just broke the channel line. So picture, last week, last Wednesday, we went downtown with conviction. We went from 106,400 to 104,600. Well, guess what? It laid down there for two days. It doesn't like hanging in that corner. It doesn't like the friends at that corner and say, I'm going back topside, man. And that's exactly what it did. And it, and it broke topside. So what does happen is this, when you get a false break, which, you know, any, and everyone in the technical business know that this is a nice channel line, he broke it, and, it, and it, it's a false break. A false break means that you come back down, you go, get above it, it's pretty dangerous, meaning that, you know, folks that will have shot the dollar 
Bottom line, this thing, I suspect, is going to probably try to go up and test the highs again. That's how it normally works, man. You can't bust them down. You're going to try to bust them back up. We'll see how that shakes out. Let's go take a look at uh, Amazon for a couple of the targets out here. So we get Amazon. The low for the year is 101. The high is 188. It's trading 140. Is that 140? Yeah, 143 right now. Um... You know, that's, I just take your time with this right now. I mean, it's, it's had, there's no doubt. Off, you know, off the low, the low uh, here is like three months ago at 101. You're up 40% since then. Uh, this doesn't have any juice. It's going into the same situation, man. I mean, it's the same area. So you're going into a supply line right now. So bottom line, I wouldn't be buying it up here. That's my point. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And this is going to be a low volume market out here today. You get Bed Bath & Beyond up uh, three bucks. You get, let's see, uh, Apple's up 90 cents. You get Nvidia up 260. Let's go, uh, Tesla's up uh, 34. Let's go to uh, NVDA first. We'll take a look at Nvidia. Nvidia right now. Okay, so that's just coming up to the top of the consolidation. That doesn't have any juice either. And Walmart. So Walmart, I believe, is coming out with numbers tomorrow. Let's, see, let's take a look at Walmart. So, yeah, before the open tomorrow, Walmart's coming out with numbers. What you have here, uh, this, this is going to be really intriguing because Walmart, the bottom line, has this consolidation happening. They get smoked the last time they come out with numbers. And let's just see. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this uh, getting above this uh, 134.23. We hit 133.57 today. Uh, yeah, Walmart has a high volume low. It's the high volume low is in, man. That high volume low is 117. Uh, so that is no doubt uh, pretty pretty intense. Uh, we'll go over. Let's go take a look at uh, Schlumberger out here. SLB, the lows 25, the highs 49. That's trading 35 right now. Okay, so. Okay, this is not a bad setup. Let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so you came back to breakout. Breakout was 29 to 35. You tested it with 53 million versus 78. I see what's happening, 36. It, this is not a bad setup. It's going to take a long time, though. You see this? I, 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 I wouldn't bite just yet. I let this build more cause. This is building cause to get through its big downdraft. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.